For step four, the last step of the bag, you're going to insert the drawstring on the front where you had a hole at the seam. The hardest part is getting that safety pin and strap inside that small hole. So work it in and then once you've got it in, you're going to work it through. So put your thumb behind the safety pin. With your fingers, push the fabric over the safety pin. Then grab the top of it and pull. And each time you do that, more of the strap should be going inside. So thumb behind, fingers push the fabric over, and pull. And every time you do, make sure you don't allow this to get bunched up, that the strap goes inside the bag. So I'm soon approaching the second little opening, the second little hole that you left at the front. Go right past it. You're going to put this strap in one and a half times. So you're not going to come out this second hole until the second time you reach it. You're going around one and a half times. So now I have taken the other end of the strap through the second hole the second time I reached it and evened out the lengths of the strap so they're roughly the same length. And now I'm ready to sew that strap in the little hole of the cutout corner. So I take that end, making sure it's straight, not twisted, line it up to that edge, and then pull it to the inside. And I make sure that just the edge of that strap is poking out so that I know I catch it when I sew it. I secure it with a pin. And then using tailoring chalk, I'm going to just draw a line at the 15 and then go to the machine and sew it. So now I'm going to sew the seam of the cutout corner. So I line the edge of the fabric against the 15, put the foot down, needle down, sew a stitch or two, reverse back three to four, and then as I get close to the seam I'll stop and take out the pin and I'll try to hold the seam flat because it is quite thick here. You may have to pull a bit. I'll sew over the strap and the seam and then reverse back, sew again, reverse back again so that I'm actually sewing over the strap at least five times so that it won't come out. And then come to the end, reverse back, lift the needle, lift the foot, cut those threads. So now that I've sewn this seam, I need to trim it because it will get stuck at the serger. So trim it to about a centimeter away from the stitching and go serge it and then trim or fray check and cut your tails right off, then hand in your bag for marking.